Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So, um, I haven't been on here in quite some time. I think it's almost been six months actually. And I really want to talk to you guys, even though I don't have like a million subscribers or anything. I have almost like, I think 500 of you around there. And I'm so grateful that I have people that watch me on here, regardless of the fact that I don't post regularly or I'm not like other YouTubers, but I've just had a lot going on in my family and in my personal life that has kind of been keeping me from being my most creative and happy self. So today I just really want to sit down and film like a little bit of me getting ready, doing my makeup, and just talk to you guys about why I haven't been on here. I thought about sitting down and just talking about uh, my life and not doing makeup or anything, but I think that me doing makeup for you guys while I talk about this <laughs> will actually help me keep everything lighthearted and not get too upset about what I'm telling you guys and keep me in a way kind of distracted and remembering that, you know, when I started this, to two years ago it's to have fun and to connect with people and that's what I'm most passionate about like forget makeup forget music like getting the opportunity to connect with people like this um, even if I never get to meet some of you guys watching me is so inspiring like back to myself to keep doing this so here I am and let's let's do it I got my coffee because if you know me you know that I am coffee addicted <laughs> and I'm also not supposed to have it because I have some heart issues and I have terrible anxiety disorder so it makes you like you know hyper anxious but I am addicted it's true and Kyle's mom actually got me this cute mug it says crafting is meow -nificent because I am very into crafts and doing that kind of stuff you guys don't know a lot about me actually. I feel like all you know is that I'm in college and make makeup videos, but I'm a complex gal. <laughs> not really. I'm not very exciting. So to start the look, I'm going to use this product I actually got in my Ipsy. This is the Bare Mineral Skin Longevity Vital Power Infusion, and I think it's like a little primer deal, and I've been liking it. I like how it's very thin and it's scented California poppy and ginger extracts and uh, Lin Puyang. I think that's how it's pronounced. But yeah, as you can see, it's very like runny, which I actually like a lot because it kind of dries down with a nice base for your foundation. Um, yeah, I just love like fresh scents like this and this has that ginger floral smell and it feels so good. All right, and then recently I've been going in with the Makeup Forever HD stick. Okay, so now I'm gonna talk about my life. So recently I've just been under a lot of stress with school and um, not having a lot of like literal financial aid not just like financial aid from college uh, to do normal fun young people stuff because um, last year my parents house was destroyed by Hurricane Irma and we've just been working on fixing that up and I've been focusing on like being there for them and Kyle's been helping because he's like an amazing carpenter he's been helping them uh, redo the walls there's not even walls in most of my parents house um, it's been like that for a year <laughs> Uh, it's just really hard for me not to be hard on myself that I am not at a point where I can like help them as adult and adult and like pay to help fix all this stuff. Sorry if I get I just have very high expectations to what I can do for the people that I love and it's hard not being able to do everything I want to do because I definitely envisioned I'd be in a different place than where I am now but I think that it's important to remember that we go through a lot of phases in our life and God doesn't put you on a path that you can't handle. And everything that happens to you in your future, I'd like to think is for a reason. I know I look so crazy with like foundation and spots all over my face and I'm crying. Sorry. But I'd like to think that the struggles that come in your life are because God thinks that nobody can handle them the way that you can. And um, I'm just gonna keep trying to remind myself that, so. All right, let's go ahead and blend this shit out. I don't know where this stupid beauty blender is from, but it doesn't work good at all, so I'm actually gonna go in with my Coastal Scents foundation brush because it blends out my foundation way better. Make sure that you guys can see. 
you guys know that I get anxious when I zoom in, but I want you to actually see what I'm doing. Hello, when your tears are a part of like your makeup routine. <sighs> This just got so real. Another reason I haven't really been on YouTube recently, and um, most of the people in my life know about this already, but um, about two months ago, I was diagnosed with scoliosis, and um, I've been having really bad back pain behind the camera for a long time that you guys didn't know about, and uh, I've been having really bad back pain my whole life, but I always assumed it's because um, I am a singer, so growing up in chorus, like posture, is like very important part of being a good vocalist and it would just hurt me so bad to stand up straight but I always figured that the reason it hurt so bad was because of just having bad posture and then like trying to recorrect it just hurts because I don't know I didn't think I had like scoliosis I just thought I was like a crappy teenager with bad posture I just spit everywhere I'm disgusting I hate myself anyways <laughs> it just kind of hit me hard and made me angry when I found out about it especially because I'm already dealing with so much like trying to help my parents redo their house I mean I'm not doing a whole lot I come over and I you know help Kyle with his sanity trying to know where to begin with my dad on uh, putting up walls and whatnot so um, that's really my job if I'm being totally honest but because uh, I was having a lot of problems I think I've told you guys with uh, kidney stones I don't know if I mentioned that but I thought that I was having the really bad back pain and then I felt it specifically on one side and I've actually kind of had a history of like chronic kidney infections like I'd be out of school for weeks it was so bad like friends from high school remember found out that I have two kidney stones that um, are too big for me to like pass and they're not really in the placement of passing so they're just kind of like sitting at the bottom of my kidney sorry I'm gonna move on to concealer <laughs> uh, this is the makeup forever HD in Y33 so yeah I was having a lot of pain from that didn't know that I had scoliosis went through all of these tests and all of this copay and money that I have to pay even though we do have a uh, good insurance medical insurance so um, that was a good old fun time and then to find out that the pain is really because I have an S curve in my spine um I don't know it's just kind of annoying growing up in the school system and I had been checked for scoliosis I think I think I can only remember like one time in elementary school I was checked and they were like mm, you might have it but I think you're fine and I was like oh thank god good they, like measured me out or whatever I've never really had a lot of x-rays in my life or anything um, my parents weren't really the parents that, you know, made me do like tons of tests all the time, you know, uh, like we did some tests when I was getting really, really bad headaches, um, but then we concluded that that was just because I had indoor and outdoor allergies, nothing abnormal. Alright, so yeah, now I'm just going to take my beauty blender and just kind of uh, press everything in. Oh, and I promise I'm not naked, I have a little tube top on, a little strapless toppy some more. Alright, I've added a little bit of foundation and now I'm just like lightening my pressure with my foundation brush and that's helping me spread it out um, without losing coverage. I'm gonna do a little bit of contour. Okay, so this is the J Manual Beauty uh, contour stick and I'm just gonna use a little bit of this and uh, try to keep talking. So, um, right before I got diagnosed with scoliosis, I had just finished out my internship and it wasn't an internship through the college which was probably kind of a mistake um, because UNF does try to weed out uh, scholarship not scholarship I can't talk UNF does try to kind of weed out uh, internships that aren't like good <laughs> and I don't want to say that was the case for me um, I think that internships are really valuable though because you get such a large amount of experience in such a short period of time as to what kind of work environment you'd like to be in for uh, your whole life and I just realized that internship wasn't something I was passionate enough about for um, the rest of my life so uh, yeah it was actually with the 
Jacksonville Iceman hockey team and I worked with the director of their corporate sponsorships so I was doing a lot of events, helping with catering for the hockey players and stuff like that. I was running all over the stadium coordinating um, different things like that and it was actually very fun, very high paced environment which I absolutely love. That's why I love doing makeup because I love like, being behind the scenes and behind different projects and helping people and you know just always being involved in that kind of stuff is really great for me because I love planning and um, organizing and I love being in charge of things and helping people I don't know <laughs> that's just some stuff that I like so it was really fun I had an amazing boss and I miss her so much yeah and she was actually leaving the company as I was ending my internship there so it kind of worked out where they didn't have too much expectation for me to actually take on her her uh, position um, which probably wouldn't have happened because she had way more experience than I did working with that kind of stuff and uh, she worked for the Jacksonville Jaguars and the Jacksonville Armada which is our um, soccer team here so it just wasn't um, just wasn't for me so anyways uh, fast forward I was having really bad <laughs> pain while I was working at the uh, stadium where our hockey games were. Um, also, one thing I didn't know is so with doing two days out of the week, I was there working in the office and then I would also have to attend almost every game, which in hockey there's sometimes like a game every day of the week depending on how things work out with what we win, what we lose, who we're playing. Um, so that was very exhausting for me. I was used to sports being uh, like on Sunday, like I'm a huge football fan. So um, all I really know about is like Sunday, Monday, Thursday football and stuff like that and then I was working for the hockey team and I was like ah, I don't want to do all this stuff this is a lot for me and then I wasn't getting paid either so it was like they were getting free employment and I was a slave to college and to my internship and I had no time for YouTube which really sucks because I love doing YouTube so much so anywho see we're gonna powder this down a little bit I don't know if I'm in focus if I get out of focus for a second um, bear with me I am not the best cinematographer <laughs> all right so I'm just gonna go ahead and curl my lashes there's some wonderful things you can learn through doing you internships I 100% recommend them I kind of do recommend that you go through the school and do internship programs that they recommend for you because in the end they're are going to be the most beneficial for the kind of career you'd like to go into. If you go to a college like mine, your teachers are very helpful. All They have counseling. They have so much at my college that I haven't taken advantage of that I should um, to help you be the most successful you. <laughs> kind of got foundation lips right now, so I'm going to wipe that off. It's not a look that I'm into. <laughs> Now that we are up to date with most of my life, fast forward a little bit more to um, right when I finished the internship for the Jacksonville Iceman hockey team, I uh, started modeling for the Copper Closet, which is a local boutique here in Jacksonville, Florida. Um, I think I told you guys I'm from Jacksonville, if you want you know this okay yeah but they're a local boutique here and they have super cute clothes and one of my best friends Ashley actually modeled for them and then recommended me because I used to work at a modeling studio for like 10 years and I used to teach and do makeup there and she was like you should come model for copper like blah 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 told them about me did my first shoot so now I've been there for a little while and they have really cute clothes I don't know what else to tell you. I'm just going to go over my contour that I blended out with some of this J. Manuel bronzer in the shade Foreplay. Look how gross this is. I'm so embarrassed. But I love this color. I love how it's got little specks of glitter in it. There's just so many good things. And it's totally got like a good warm color to it, which I love for me during the summertime because I get that in my own skin and it's just a good shade and consistency. Very good makeup. Well done, Jay Manuel. Double chin cover. 
So basically the point of this video is to inform you guys that I am alive and well. Just because I haven't been on YouTube doesn't mean I'm gone. I promise I'm here and I love doing this. I feel like it's a privilege to be on this platform. I'm very grateful for what it has brought into my life. A lot of a lot of good things more good than bad and that's what's important okay so I'm gonna take this um, banana powder by who is it by distributed by Bella Pierre by Bella Pierre cosmetics slightly dust this over my little face especially the chin I get such an oily chin just do my whole lower half use the rest to just do my all right, powder down. I think I'm gonna do some gel on the brows. This is the J Manual Brow Gel. It works really good. I've been modeling, playing some music by myself, you know, doing college, you know, trying to stay in school, trying to stay positive. I'm very stressed out with not having a part-time job besides um, selling vintage on Depop and doing makeup freelance for people is like my main income right now. So that's been stressing me out a lot, but I will actually tag. I made myself my own little Depop thrift store just to make just extra money while I'm in college and it's called Square One Thrift. I'll put the logo right here. I'm actually really proud I made it myself. Um, and yeah, I'm trying to do more cool entrepreneurial things. We are gonna go into eye makeup now, so let's see what we're gonna create today. <laughs> Recently, I've been keeping my eyes pretty simple, but today I'm gonna dip into the Morphe Dare to Create palette. And I'm going to start, I keep the plastic in it so that I can see um, like the names of the colors, especially if I want to list for y'all in the description the name of each shadow that I use. So I'm going to start with, um, let's see, I think canvas. Canvas will be a good start. And that is this second to the left shade right here. Da, 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 da. And put that in my little crease. Yeah, nothing too exciting going on in my life right now. Uh, trying to get back into YouTube, watching a lot of Jenna Marbles videos to keep me positive because her and Julian make me and Kyle laugh so hard, all of the funny stuff they do. I really kind of wish I could do that kind of stuff on my channel. If you guys would watch it, I mean, I would do it, you know, just doing stuff like, I don't know, covering a bald cap and eyelashes. Why not? Like, live your best life. For the first blend, I use my Sigma E40. Now for the smaller blend, I'm going to use my Sigma E45. I'm going to go into this burnt ah, red right here. And that is named Vibrant. Ooh, I'm dipping into Vibrant. Yeah, just these days, I've been having a lot of me time. I've been watching the new seasons of New Girl and stuff. And that's been keeping me very occupied. I absolutely love love New Girl. It's one of my favorite shows of all time. Next to The Office. The Office is my absolute favorite show in the world, but New Girl also has a special place in my heart because I used to always watch it in high school on Fox with my mom, and that was just one of our things we do together. We watch New Girl and Glee, and I just thought I was the coolest person ever because I felt like nobody else really watched it when it was on TV, but like actually everyone watched it. Like I'm not cool at all. So yeah, I'm just putting a little bit of definition on this outer part of the eye. Kind of not doing too well right now. I'm trying to lighten my pressure so that I don't mess up this, this blend that I've got going. All right guys, well y'all don't know about it, but my camera just died. She's being a little selfish. Oh shoot, I just like shook the whole screen probably for you. <laughs> She's being a little selfish and she needs some time to cool. So, well now I'm just gonna take the bigger brush and just blend all this out. As you can see, just like everything I do on my channel turns into a blown out smoky eye. That's apparently what this is turning into. So, uh, yeah, exciting stuff. Let's just go in for a full cranberry moment and do this shade right here. I don't know the name of it. Hunts. <gasps> I went for Hunts. And I'm actually not gonna use some Fix Plus. Number one, because I can't find my Fix Plus. I have a brand new box bottle of it somewhere and I cannot freaking find it so that's been great knowing that I have that somewhere that Kyle bought for me and I can't even use it but whatever 
So I'm just going to put some uh, liner on my lash and this is the uh, Potent J. Manuel liner. These are super creepy, creepy, super creamy and uh, they're for lips and eyes which is very neat. So I'm just going to draw a little line. I know you're not supposed to tug your eyelid and I try really hard not to but it is so hard for me to do it with one hand. And go under a little bit the lash line. Ooh, kind of cute, kind of cute. I cannot talk while I do this. I just want y'all to know I'm concentrating way too hard right now, so no words, okay? So yeah, I'm gonna take this flat uh, chisel brush, pat those, and just tap it into the liner to like stick it on. And then kind of fuse the end of the eye just a little. I don't remember what I was talking about when I was last on camera, so we're just gonna we're just gonna move forward because I don't want to have myself editing a bunch of footage of crap that I talked about because that makes me very mad at myself. <laughs> so yeah, kind of a smoky wing happening. I'm gonna go into this little darker one right under it. Just tap tap. I kind of want to keep the bottom lash line very light and fresh because the top of the eye is so bold. We're looking good, people. We're looking good. So now I'm just kind of dragging and like lightly losing pressure. Um, and I'm gonna go in with another brush and diffuse it a little. Sorry about the crazy faces I know I'm making. I hope I keep you guys occupied with my ugly faces. All right, now I'm take this brush and go over it. Okay, cool. It's looking very, very dramatic. So <laughs> I think we need to chill out for a sec. All right, I'm gonna take a little bit of concealer and just go over the edge of the look right here with a little sturdy sponge from my makeup bag because this is who I am, people, okay? It's just gonna lift that up a little bit so I don't look so like tired. A lot of people are afraid to go back in with liquid over powder but you know what sometimes <laughs> is this making my eyes look more red probably put a little bit under my eye the level of tired I look <laughs> recently it can get very very bad a little more on the inside some red on my uh, inner nose area I don't know if that happens to you guys sometimes but just go back in and I like to buff it out with some cream I don't know why I'm weird. If you're thinking about getting anything from J Manual, since I'm going to be reviewing these products in the next video, definitely get this mascara. This mascara is amazing and I am a mascara connoisseur. So if I say I like this mascara, you better trust me. But it's just like, um, oh my god, as I get it on my freaking eyelid. But it seriously gives you results so quickly. Like, I curl my lashes, I do like a little bit of coat to this, and your lashes look amazing so fast. After just a few strokes, like do you see the difference right now? It's shocking. All right, I'm gonna take a clean blending E35 by Sigma and just go over the top of this. All right, I actually think it looks kind of cool to just keep the lower lash line empty so I think that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna set under my eyes using actually I'm gonna switch it off because I'm complicated uh, a different powder and this is kind of a banana powder. It's the luxe filter loose powder and medium filter. <laughs> it's a lot of words by J Manual and I'm just gonna yeah lightly pat this underneath. I think this looks cool. And I'm gonna put a little bit of that all over my face cuz but I'm actually gonna take a little bit of this potent liner that I put on top to um, get the darker shadows to stick to I'm gonna take this and put it in my waterline a little bit just like on the outer edges of the eye look I feel like it kind of gives it this cool feline flick and kind of brings it out now we can go into a blush a light palette sorry I'm out of focus um and this one in the top right corner <laughs> trying to figure out how you guys would see it but yeah yeah so just gonna a little bit of that a little bit of that blush on my chin who am i maybe my nosy all right and i'm gonna contour my nose a little bit because i feel like it just looks very uh lonely in the center of my face so yeah i'm gonna take this um luxy 207 and a little bit of the bronzer foreplay that i used earlier to set my contour and just go around my nose i'm actually also gonna go over the nose contour with this lisa frank bronzer which i feel like i should have used in the first place because this is way too pink now let's kind of pat it out take some powder go over the nosey just smooth it out over that all right cool and now i'm gonna take my j manuel um highlight and it is 
broken and I haven't had time to fix it but it's a pretty color it's in the shade stardom go look at it on their website and not the version I have right now uh, a lot of the stuff was partially cracked when I got the uh, package from J Manual um, but I didn't want to bother them and ask them to like send me uh, new ones or anything because I was just so grateful because this is the first time I've ever been sent like PR before <laughs> and I was so excited to get it so I don't want to complain a lot. Um, the products are nice and I love them. I feel like all the powders I put on my face have kind of covered my lashes so I'm probably going to go over those again and my cupid's bow. I'm gonna take a little bit under my brow. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my hair down and my bangs are probably totally screwed up. Yep, totally Dwighty. Great. All right, well, I'm gonna go fix them and let my camera cool down because apparently that's something it likes to do. So I'll be right back. Okay, cool. So I was thinking for lips, I could actually take that potent lip pencil that I used on my eyes and my waterline and just lightly kind of go around my lips and then do a clear gloss. I feel like that might look cool, but we'll see. And I'm just kind of blending it into my lips a little bit too. All right, so sloppy lip liner is on, check. All right, and let's see how the clear gloss looks. All right, so now to make sure that my face is just really set, I'm gonna take some of this e.l.f. HD powder and I'm gonna go over my whole face a little bit. I guess this is the final makeup look. Sorry I like on and off talked about my life so awkwardly throughout this whole video, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, as always, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and go ahead and hit bell notifications so you can get updates on all my future videos. And yeah, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and life and I hope I didn't overwhelm you with negativity. That's the last thing I would want to do. So stay positive. Good vibes only. Love you guys. And...